I can get up and draw a nation and world. So just tell somebody, the quicker you do what you're going to do, the quicker I'm going to get what I'm supposed to have. I honor the Lord for being in this place tonight. I give honor to all. I have my little notes here so I wouldn't miss giving honor to people. Um, and I'm trying to find them. I give honor to my bishop and my pastor, Bishop Charles Edward Blake, and to Bishop Brooks, to Bishop Macklin, to the general board and to the board of bishops, Bishop Sheard, to Chairman Linwood Dillard, such an awesome man of God. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to say a little something, something. To the people of the Lord, I appreciate you. To Lady May Blay. Yes. I'm going to talk about you in just a few minutes, but I want you to know I thank God for you. But stay right there because I'm coming back to you. To Pastor Hankerson. One of the greatest men I know. I love this man so much. I've got his back. We talk, we laugh on the phone. We have a good time. And to Lady Hankerson, God bless you. I love you and thank you for allowing me to love your husband and work with him. To our assistant elect lady, Dorinda Clarko. Yes. I love you, girl, and you know it. And I thank God that you are a part of this great team. To our aim and department heads, to Bishop Moody, to Bishop Gatlin, to Dr. Judith Christie McAllister, to Dr. Ben Stevens, to Chair Ladies Joyce Rogers, and Chair Lady Cleolia Penix. To all of my elect ladies, to my family, I have here my niece and my great niece. I'm going to ask them to stand. Stand up. My great niece, this is Jennifer Daniels, and that's Aiden. I want you to know that I thank God for my babies. Especially that little girl. She came out here smiling. She's been smiling ever since she was born. And I asked God, where did she come from? Because I couldn't quite understand it. Lady Mae Blake, Bishop Charles Blake, I want to openly thank you for being there for me when I was sick, you were there. I may cry, but I want to thank you. You stepped in just when I needed you the most. With your prayers, with your concern, even with your checkbook, to make sure that I was okay. I will never forget you. And Lady May Blake, for as long as I live. Last year, I was on crutches. I was in so much pain until I could hardly make it. They had me on one of the highest forms of a narcotic pain pill that wasn't doing me any good. But tonight, look at me. here by the grace of God. But what you don't know is the surgery that I went into. I went into it and it seemed like it was going to be all right until about 4 a.m. in the morning when my body shut down. The adrenal gland shut down. The renal gland shut down. 
My party was systematically, and the organs were systematically lining up. My blood pressure dropped to 44 over 77. I said to God, this is it. Oh, God. I remember them rushing me to ICU, giving me blood transfusions. I don't know whose blood I got in me, but they gave me blood transfusions because my pressure kept dropping. Everything was happening. They said, we're losing her. A sound was coming from my body that sounded like a freight train. I transitioned, y'all better hear me. I went into what is called the white light. And while I was in that white light, I heard the Lord speak to me and say to me, not yet. I'm here because of a not yet God. It's not your time. Judges chapter number four. I'm not going to be here long. Unless the eye catches fire, God will not be seen. Unless the ear catches fire, God will not be heard. Unless the tongue catches fire, God will not be named. Unless the heart catches fire, God will not be loved. Unless the mind catches fire, God will not be known. Unless we catch fire. 